creating grand totals at the bottom of columns or at the end of rows can be very cumbersome. What most people do is they click here and put a sum function in there and then they copy it to the right and then they put a sum function there and then copy it downwards. Um, it can be done much easier. Uh, let me first show you the manual way and then we will do this for VBA automatically. You select the beginning of your table, control shift arrow down, control shift arrow to the right and one extra row, shift one arrow down shift one arrow to the right and you can put in there a function like sum for instance formulas or to sum sum or average or count max or min those are the options you have and it gives you automatically all the end results the problem with this is that you can only do three or four you cannot do standard deviation you cannot do the median or the mode and besides you still have to highlight a lot of things so there must be an easier way through VBA and that's what this video is mostly about in order to do so we need the R1C1 notation what does that mean usually we talk about cell A1 etc but for formulas that is sometimes not the best way to do. Let's say we are in cell B11. In my notation R1C1, row 1, column 1, the result is A1. RC, however, is the same row and the same column as where you are in, which is B11. R brackets 1, that means 1 row down from where you are in the same column that is B12. R minus 1, C minus 1 is A10. And the last one, sum. R2, C, row 2, column 1, that is B2, through R minus 1, C, etc. Because we are in B11, that's going to be B10. Once we know this, we can use VBA to put total formulas at the end of rows and columns. For VBA has a object or property, whatever you want to call it, that's called current region. It looks for a table between an empty row and an, at the bottom and at the top, and an empty column to the left and an empty column to the right. That's the current region. Once you know that, you can program easily in Excel. So we are going to find out how many rows that the does the current region have and how many columns. Let's go to VBA, Alt F11. And in a new module, I created a subtotals, declared a few variables. I do this always on C2 and select range A1. Then we are going to talk to the current region of the active cell. No matter where the user is in that table, we want the current region. And we will close that later on with end with. How many rows does the current region have? We store that in the variable r equals dot current region. Rows count. C equals dot columns count. And then we are going to ask what kind of operation do you want to do? And we ask that through a regular input box. You say, do you want the sum, the average, the max, min, standard deviation, mode, median, the count? By default, we will always take the sum, unless the user types another function. If they cancel the input box, stop the total sum. Then we are going to look in the last cell of that table which is if dot in the current region of the active cell cells in row r that's the last row and the last column if that has a formula that means we had already done an operation like this then we set set r to one less and c to one less then we put in the first row column plus one that is way at the end to the right the operation we we use and we do the same at the bottom 
Then we are going to put a formula in the bottom row. We set O range, which is of the range type, to dot range cells R plus one, that is one row extra outside the current region, or the one we had already if it had a formula, in the second column up to the cells R plus one to the last column. And we put in that range the property formula R1C1. That property is set to, and then we type a literal string inside double quotes. And the string starts with an equal sign, so we have two equal signs here. It starts with an equal sign, and then I hook onto it the operation, which is the sum function or the average function, and I hook onto that the last string that is in row 2, the same column, up to row minus 1, same column. And we set the number format to the number format in the last row in the last column. And then we do something similar for the last column. After we have done it for the last row, we also want it for the last column. Set O range is cells to column plus one, column plus one. I think that makes sense now, doesn't it? We put the formula R1C1 in there, which is again equals, and then a string that says equals sum, average, median, count, R in the same row, two columns over, up to the same row, minus one column. We set the number format and with, and that is the end of the with statement and the end of the sub statement. Let's test it. I made a shortcut for that subroutine, Control Shift T. At the moment, I do Control Shift T. It's going to ask me already, what do you want, the sum, the average, or whatever. let's say the sum. And it puts here the operation procedure and there the operation procedure. If I do it again, Control shift t I could do the sum again, but I could also say, give me the median. And that is the median of all these columns and all these rows. If you want to do this only for the bottom row and not for the columns, all you have to do is get rid of that section. And if you only want it in the columns and not in the rows, get rid of this section. I leave that up to you. You can even ask the user. Do you want it in the rows or in the columns, or do you want it in both? I leave that up to you. In order to do so, you have to be a little more familiar with the tools that I developed for you in order to do this work more proficiently. It is a CD-ROM either for Excel 2007 or the upcoming one for 2013. It has three different parts, the basic essentials of VBA, looping, variables, branching, then formulas and arrays, and here is your property formula R1C1, you can also work with regular formulas, you can make custom functions, and finally it goes into buttons, forms, and much more, user forms, you can even make your own objects in VBA, and how do you distribute your VBA code, and how do you monitor VBA. You can find all of this at genesispc.com.